What's going on, everybody? Tricky D here, Tricky D Labs. Thank you for tuning in and toking up. Don't be shy. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. Thank you guys for being here once again. Today we are pollinating some cannabis. We're going to be making some blue tangerine F1s again. Um, we're out of the last batch we made. Uh, everybody loved them. Keep getting requests for them, so we're going to go ahead and make some more. Uh, we're looking at one of the Blue Dream Moms right here. Well, actually, that one didn't get used in this process. Um, we did the three in the middle, three Blue Dreams in the middle, and the little pots, the one on the left right here. And then we're also going to be doing this uh, big crinkle in the back. So that's going to be one of our Blue Dream Moms right there. Looking healthy and happy and doing great. And then we got the three down here in the middle that we're going to be using. And then we got the one big crinkle back there in the back left that we're going to be using. So uh, the first step in this process is to go ahead and get them out of this tent and into a safe spot where we can do the pollination. And that is going to be the uh, ensuite bas bathroom from the master bedroom. So we're going to go ahead and start getting all of our plants moved into there. As you can see, we got the shower all set up. We're gonna get all of our mother plants in here to do the pollination. So we're just grabbing all of our blue dreams right now. Getting them all in here nice and safe in the shower like. So we have some tangerine dream pollen that we're gonna be hitting these with. We'll get to that in just a second. our final blue dream getting put in there now we're gonna grab our crinkle uh, the crinkle cross the tangerine dream seeds will not be available to anyone uh, they're strictly for myself and land and air genetics the crinkle is a special cut of his that he doesn't want uh, let out to anybody so that's staying in-house but the blue tangerine seeds will be available once they're finished so you guys be on the lookout for those so we got all of our plants in here now. I'm just getting them uh, situated the way I want. I played with them for a second to get them how I liked them. But there we go. We got all of our plants in the shower. Uh, we then proceeded to close the bathroom door. No fans on in the grow room. And now we're bringing the secondary camera into the shower with us. So you can have the overhead view. So again, we're going to be closing ourselves into the bathroom, closing the bedroom door, uh, no fans on in the grow room, just so we don't get any stray pollen getting back into the grow room, because that would be bad. So here we are, getting our little camera set up, then we're going to close ourselves in and get the pollen out and start getting to work here. So here we go, here's our Tangerine Dream Pollen, I've had this in the freezer since I made the last batch of blue tangerines about eight or nine months ago so it was getting close to its expiration date which is uh, why we went ahead and got it used up now I've been wanting to get to it for a couple months but this is the first real opportunity I had you see I had it packed in there really really good nice and safe uh, for itself and for the garden so there's no possibility of any stray pollen getting anywhere so we're going to go ahead and get her ripped open now. We have just enough pollen to do these uh, five plants in here. Uh, I would have probably done the other two Blue Dream that are in there. But I love Blue Dream, so it'll be alright to have a little extra of that. I probably could have got away with throwing them in there. It's a decent amount of pollen. But we should get plenty of seeds off of the four we did pollinate. And off the crinkle. So here we are, our overhead view. Let you guys see what I'm doing. I just have a little paintbrush here, taking the paintbrush, dipping it into the pollen, and then just lightly tapping the brush over the top of the bud sites that I want to pollinate. Now the pollen, you know, is very light and very airborne, so it's getting everywhere, more than where you can just see it getting. But I really like to concentrate it on uh, the few nugs that I want to hit, which you can see here. I'm getting all around, trying to get all inside the plants. You can see right here we get a nice little slow motion zoom in poof. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that pollen. Poof, poof. It's like pixie dust. So you guys, this is just one way to pollinate your plants. Of course, if you have the full-blown stud, and you can just put it in the middle of that shower with the rest of the plants and shake him up, uh, that works just as well. Here you go, another little poo for the pixie dust. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. So if you guys haven't seen the blue tangerines grown out, it has been grown out by about six or seven testers so far, one of them being Landon Air Genetics, and he had uh, amazing results along with everyone else. So uh, if you really want some good stuff, be sure to get at me, and look at that. Look at that pollen sitting on that crinkle nug. Looks amazing. So that's what you want to see. That branch is getting really pollinated, so we're done with doing all of that. Uh, the next course of action is here as I slightly shook the plants up a little bit after they sat for a couple minutes just to spread the pollen around further, make sure it gets everywhere in there. And then we just let them sit. We let them sit for about three hours just to hang out. We'll take a look at a few pictures here. Some of the pictures didn't come out as great as I would wanted them to. I uh, guess my camera was just not cooperating with me. But you can see we got pollen everywhere looking good and then in about three hours we come back in here and finish up the work so here we go three hours later we're back in we have our spray bottle full of fresh water here that we're going to use to deactivate the pollen and keep it from spreading around anywhere else once we move the plants back into the grow room so this is the best way that i found to keep everything else in the grow room safe when you're doing this. So here we go. Back into the plants. Boom, boom, boom. Everything's looking good. Happy. Uh, you can't see a whole lot of the pollen on the bud sites anymore because like I said, I shook the plants up a little bit off camera just to spread the pollen around. But believe me, pollen is everywhere. You can still see a little bit down here. So our next course of action is to get this uh, pollen deactivated so we can get the plants back into the garden. So we're just going to go ahead and get our pump sprayer pumped up. Make sure she's full of pressure. So much pressure coming down on me. It's too much pressure. Got to deactivate the pollen, you see. So here we go. We're going to start up at the top. Just in case there's any floating around up and up, up high, work our way down. Really get into these plants. Make sure we get every single inch of these plants wet to make sure there's no pollen left. And then uh, after we get our good little spray in, make sure everything's sprayed. I even sprayed down the bathroom itself, as you can see there. And then uh, I shook the plants up really good after getting them all sprayed. And then we let them sit here for about another hour, hour and a half to dry and just to hang out just in case. And then uh, once we get them nice and dry and done, we get them in back into the grow room. So here we are getting them back in the grow room. There's our crinkle, there's our butt crack. Crack kills kids, be careful, it's scary stuff. So we just get all of our plants back in and that's pretty much it you guys. Pretty simple process. Uh, you just got to be careful to make sure there's no airflow in the house while you're doing it. Keep the bathroom door shut. You see I had the shower door shut and I also changed my clothes before I left the bathroom when I pollinated. I put the pollen on, I took all my clothes off, sneakily left the bathroom and put fresh clothes on. So that's about it, you guys. Thank you for tuning in and toking up. Don't be shy. Like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you very much.